Hello. Thank you very much for joining us today. My name is Darren Wright, and I'm the National Marine Program Leader at the National Weather Service Headquarters in Silver Spring, Maryland. The purpose of today's webinar is to provide some background on the National Weather Service's Hazard Simplification Project for those who might not have heard about it before, and to outline some specific proposals related to marine forecast products. The goal of Hazard Simplification, or HazSim project, is to consider ways that we can simplify and clarify our hazard products with a focus on our watch, warning, and advisory system, and then to propose and implement alternatives in concert with social science and the broader community. We are not announcing any changes today, only letting our key partners know about some proposals under consideration and engage you in the process by providing feedback. No changes will be made without our formal notification process. Today I will walk through the current system of watches, warnings, and advisories, and what we have learned about the ways people receive this information. We will then move into the specific proposals for simplification of the marine weather information, provide some background on the process and reasoning behind them, give some examples, and then outline what the next steps will be for consideration and implementation of these changes. First, let's talk about the Watch Warning Advisory System, which is affectionately called the WAWA system here at the National Weather Service. Watches and warnings are two terms that sound alike and get confused. A third, advisory, carries no specific sense of impact, even though it's defined as less serious. On the right is an image that represents all of the products available at this time, including the full suite of marine products. We expect the public to understand each of our 122 products represented by different colors which is now 124 with our storm surge watch and warning products that were implemented earlier this year. Seems a lot to ask and the data is showing it. We have received a great deal of feedback over the past few years, especially confirming that people have a wide range of understanding when it comes to Wawa terms. Advisories are often misunderstood and watches and warnings are sometimes transposed. Too often, people assume that these terms are hierarchical and lose the nuance of what the information really says. The bottom line is that we could do a better job to convey what may occur, the impacts of it occurring, and where appropriate, the necessary action. There will be additional work through surveys in the coming year to consider replacing the WAWA terms with better understood call to action terms as shown in the slide. The focus of the HASSIM project is to reduce the number of products, shorten them, organize information more effectively, and focus the message on key information. We call this stage consolidation and reformatting. No information from current products will be lost. It will just be organized in different ways and shortened. We are in the process of a comic collection on the proposal for reformatting and consolidation of marine products. This follows similar efforts for winter weather and flooding. We are proposing to reformat marine messages into a bulleted format using a what, when, where framework in order to allow for brevity while focusing on impact. For marine weather information, not only are the messages long, but there are also too many of them. As they are currently done, a single weather event will often result in a long list of watches, warnings, or advisories going up in a particular area. It is a lot of information for users to sort through, particularly in the marine environment, where information can sometimes be difficult to access. I will walk through the proposals of each product consolidation now. Please remember that in addition to rolling up some products, all of the messages would be reformatted into the simplified bullet structure. I will show some examples of this following the consolidation proposals. For marine information, the first thing that one notices is the large number of specific products. 
In practice, we find that any one event often ends up with multiple watches, warnings, or advisories being issued, and also that several of them are quite similar to one another. What we are seeking comment on is whether it is possible to reduce the number of those products to reduce confusing or missing information. All information related to wind and waves for vessels would be contained in a single streamlined message. This schematic shows what an advisory would look like under this construct. Instead of multiple advisories for different phenomena, there would be one single advisory for all related threats called a marine advisory. I will show some specific examples after we walk through the proposals. Likewise, existing watch products related to winds, waves, and freezing spray would be consolidated into a marine watch. We realize that heavy freezing spray is slightly different than other products here, so we are asking questions in the survey to allow for specific feedback on items like this. The goal is not to force fit any of these, but simply to better understand whether this type of consolidation raises any concerns for operations or management decisions based on conditions which is why we are gathering feedback before moving ahead with any implementation of it changes. This is the proposal for consolidation of warning products into a single marine warning. I would note that the special marine warning is a non-VTEC short-fused polygon-based product, slightly different than the other warnings listed here. On the survey, you will find a specific question related to whether you feel the special marine warnings should be combined with other warnings listed here. Similar to the marine product reformatting and consolidation, there are proposals outlined in the survey associated with beach products. The primary difference between this suite of products and the marine products I just showed are where we expect the user to be when they need the information. Marine products cover people likely to be on the water in some sort of vessel, while what we call beach products affect those working, living, and recreating along the coastline, including swimmers and surfers. Of note, there are a number of beach and surf zone products that are not currently in the Wawa framework. As part of the simplification effort, we are proposing to consolidate these into a single set of information so the user does not need to reference multiple sources. Many of you are probably familiar with this marine message. This is a small craft advisory issued this summer by the Weather Forecast Office in Seattle. This is the same message reformatted into the proposed marine advisory format. As you can see, all of the same information is present, including a precautionary message for small vessels and inexperienced mariners. But the message has been shortened and bullets have been added to succinctly convey the threat. This format provides multiple benefits specific to marine users. While small craft advisories have been a staple of marine forecasts since the 1930s, the term small craft is somewhat subjective, and truly it comes down to the experience of the mariner in handling a vessel of that size. Here's an example of a storm force wind warning that is currently used. Again, notice the new format using the what, where, when, and additional details. I would like to also note that we are considering replacing the additional details section with one called impacts. There is a specific question about this in the survey. Finally, an example of the beach warning. This is one for high rip current risk. Once again, you'll notice the new format. The survey, which we will talk about next, has additional examples. As mentioned earlier, we released a survey in early September to get feedback on these proposed changes. The survey was developed by social scientists to help design questions in a way for the National Weather Service to get the feedback desired. 
The survey provides examples of current and proposed new products similar to what I just showed and asks if you strongly agree, agree, disagree, or strongly disagree. We understand that a number of you have been impacted by recent weather events. To ensure everyone has sufficient time to provide input, we have extended the survey deadline until Thursday, October 12th. Your input is very important to what product changes will move forward. A link to this survey is available at the top of this slide and will be shown again on my final slide. Once again, the survey of proposed marine product changes closes October 12th. At that point, the National Weather Service will begin analyzing feedback to consider which changes would benefit the marine community. Any changes would not be implemented before fall of 2018 following all typical notification procedures. We envision that no major software changes would be needed for VTEC. The plan based on the proposals you have seen would simply include retiring some VTEC codes. Well, that's it. Thanks for joining us today to learn more about our hazard simplification effort. Notice at the bottom of the slide the link to the survey that is going on right now. As a reminder, the survey closes October 12th, and we welcome and value any feedback on these possible changes to the marine product suite. Thanks again. Have a good day.